At Pulaski, we're advancing research and commentary that focuses on democracy below and beyond the national level. A number of problems exist beneath the surface in the world's advanced democracies that lead us to question the quality of democratic institutions, civic life, and political culture at the regional and local level. In the U.S., we've seen this in particular at the state level. One key issue is the question of whether local governments respect liberal democratic principles like respect for minority rights and a commitment to pluralistic, diverse communities. States like Texas and Florida have shown that these ideals are under attack, with both states launching new assaults on the rights of LGBTQ residents, both spearheaded by their hardline conservative governors. In the case of Florida, restrictions intended to limit the free expression of LGBTQ identities in public schools have created widespread controversy. But a place's democratic performance also depends on the existence of party competition and an effective means for minority representation. In this regard, many American states fall short thanks to aggressive gerrymandering, with states like Wisconsin transforming a highly competitive electorate into GOP supermajorities in the state legislature. These challenges are compounded in many places across the United States by the decline of local news media, which provides an essential component of government accountability. The rise of news deserts across the United States makes governmental abuse and corruption more possible and dilutes the public's ability to respond. But the United States is not alone, as many of Europe's democracies have seen reinvigorated far-right parties and movements. Far-right politics pose a clear threat to liberal democracy, and the growth of these ideas corrodes political culture and civic life in the places where they flourish. In France, immigration, cultural anxiety, and economic disillusionment have produced a series of shocks, from Marine Le Pen's last two presidential runs to the summer riots in the wake of a police killing of a black teen in a Paris suburb. Germany's far-right party, Alternative for Germany, has surged in recent polls, and it has gained a serious foothold in parts of former East Germany in particular. The AFD plays on immigration fears and trades on anti-LGBTQ and other culture war rhetoric. This summer, the party won control of the government of Sonneberg and Thuringia. Brexit Britain, too, is vulnerable to rising right-wing impulses and studies have shown that a number of communities across the post-industrial and rural landscapes of England and Wales are susceptible to right-wing extremism. And the global spread of extremist and conspiratorial thinking confused with regional grievances, as in the case of the farmers' movement in the Netherlands. A focus on place-based democracy also means a need to reconcile the status of indigenous peoples and the need for historical justice with liberal democratic commitments. This is especially true in advanced liberal democracies like the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. In Australia, the referendum to create a new representative organ to parliament for Australia's first peoples seeks to respond to these challenges. But this effort is not without its detractors, and there is rising resentment toward the voice in Australia's rural and regional communities that already feel left behind themselves. The goal of focusing on place-based democracy is to assess and enrich liberal democracy in the places where people live, in the communities and localities where they shop and eat, where they learn, where they worship, and where they play.